call is now being yes recorded. all right so yes. last class we discussed about digital marketing strategies all right so for those for those of you that were not able to join us last last class so i think there will be a recording for that like because so by the time Mm, it's been released, so they will post it on the group so you can check it out. But I will just recap, I will just say some things out of the things we we discussed last last week for the sake for the sake of those that were we are unable to join us. All right. So last last class we discussed about 10 types of data marketing strategies, which I explain I explain um almost everything, but for the content marketing, I just I just um, brief it because I said it last last that content marketing is the father of all other marketing strategy. If you want to use SEO, you need content. If you want to use SM, SMM, which is social media marketing, you need content. If you want to do paid advertising, you need content. All the digital marketing strategy, you need content for everything. So content marketing is the father of every other digital marketing strategy. So that's why I did not go deeper into it last class, because it's a topic on its own, in which we are going to be treating that next week. So today, what we are going to be doing today is because this, this digital marketing strategy, we are all to do for two weeks. So we are just going to um, balance it up, like we are going to conclude it. We are, we are unable to conclude it to complete it last class, so we are just going to complete it today. So we just go into um one or two things, then we go to strategy um, section. Just go to strategy section, strategy section regarding digital marketing. So by next week, this is going to be last class. We are going to go to content marketing. So we are going to so that we can spend more time on the content marketing so that you have full understanding of content marketing. Because if anyone wants to suggest the digital marketing, whether in your business, like like just like the way I said earlier this class, I said it that. There are several ways you can use your digital marketing knowledge. You can use it for your own personal business, like to grow your personal business, or you can use it to help others to grow their business. And you can also be rendering it as a service. You can be ready a service as a, a social media marketer. You can be ready a service for email marketing. You can be ready a service for, social, uh, for SEO. So it becomes a SEO expert, affiliate marketing, mobile marketing, influence marketing, video marketing. So it just depends on you. And I said that as a sample. I said for my personal self, what I'm using my digital marketing um, knowledge to do is I'm using it to grow my own business. I have my own business that I do, just like that. I deal with that product. Right? So I'm using to grow my business and my brand so my my pass what i'm doing is personal brand there's something for personal branding so i'll be using my name i don't have any brand name so i'll be using my name which is allow johnson so that's what they call personal branding so i'm using my digital marketing strategy to grow that brand so that's for me so you can decide that okay this my this your own digital marketing knowledge you want to be using to um want to be using it to grow your own business. That's if you have any business you are doing. It might be online business. It can also be offline business. Maybe you have a store. So you can apply all these things, like all these digital marketing strategies, you can apply it to any business you are doing. All right? So you can, you can decide to be offering, like to be using that knowledge for your business. And you can also decide to be renting it as a service you can decide to be ready as a service, and at the same time, you can decide to be using it to help 
or other business owners. So that is it. That is it for that. All right. So today I will just um, brief on all this digital marketing strategy again okay? because today our like what we are all to treat today is also digital marketing strategy like to complete the other. So I talked about SEO. I said SEO is uh I showed an example of it when we type we type something on Google, so it brings different results. So I show you the one that is SEO and the one that is SMM. SEO and S um, I say SMM, SEM, search engine marketing, which is part of this paid advertising. All right. So I showed different, the difference between the SEO and the SM, SEM, which I said the SEO is free. Like you don't need to pay for you to use the SEO marketing. The search engine optimization market, you don't need to use, you don't need to pay. All you just need is to know the right keyword to use that. When people search for something related to what you have on your website or your blog or your social media, once they search it on Google, Google will pop you out, out of the results that, um, that Google is going to be printing. So you don't need to pay for that. So I show you the example. And I show you the example of search engine marketing because a lot of people do confuse the two together. They don't know the difference between they don't know the difference between the SEO and SMM, SEM. So for the SEM, it's a paid one. So this for this one, you need to pay for Google. So one, once you pay, that is when when people search for something related to the your campaign, like Related to your campaign, Google will pop them out, which I show you the example now. It means ads. So if you see that kind of thing, you know that, okay, this person that owes this particular content is running SEM, which is start engine marketing. So that's it for that. And I explain about social media marketing. Like Facebook adverts, Instagram adverts, Twitter adverts, um, LinkedIn adverts, and other social media adverts, Snapchat adverts, TikTok adverts. You understand? So I explained all of that. So you can also apply those things. So this social media marketing is a practical work, like it's a practical stuff, and which is not included in this class. And I said last week that is the practical aspect of this training of digital marketing will be uh will be in the uh the premium membership uh, the premium membership of this um and uh, the premium mentorship in which the admin of the group is going to do so that's for the practical aspect but i would i would try my best to make you understand the things that are more important to know when it's come to data marketing so you can use Facebook adverts, Instagram adverts. Facebook, ad, Facebook adverts and Instagram adverts is very simple to, to, um, to set up. So there's even a way that you can set up your Facebook adverts. And at the same time, people will be seeing your advert on Facebook and at the same time on Instagram. So you don't even need to, to set it up separately. So it's when you are setting Facebook advert up. So there is an option that you just tick for you to allow um, Facebook to display that advert to people on Instagram. So I hope I'm communicating. Yes. Hello? All right. So that is it for social media. And I explain paid advertisement. I just need to run up this because I want us to just be maybe like one hour for the lecture. So the only one hour is going to be a strategy section. Well, maybe right because one thing I believe in is that it's better we spend time on something and you gain understanding than we should just like we should just say a lot of things without you gaining understanding about it. So it's going to be uh,
post for people. All right. So for the paid advertisements, the uh I've already explained which is SEM. Then the email marketing, I also explained the email marketing. I said a lot of examples. So I told you that there's a way you can get people's email so that you can be sending email email to them, you can be sending mail to them. So and I I said an example, I said you need to create an opt-in page where you'll be directing people to like the traffic, you directing people to for them to fill that page. So once they fill it, be receiving their details, whatever details you requested for, maybe it's uh, whatever details you requested, maybe it's, you requested for their email, their name, their phone number, and so. So that's what they call opt-in page, opt-in page. And I also say that, okay, I didn't say that yet. I said it last week that if you want to do the opt-in page, most of the time you will need a website. So, but I see that maybe if you cannot afford a website, maybe you don't have a website. So there are different ways you can also do it. There are other means you can use, like Google Form. You can use Google Form as your opt-in page. So all you just need is to design your uh, Google Form. You ask the questions you want to ask. So you ask the question. Once you set up your Google Form, I know everybody here should be familiar to install the Google So you, all you just need after setting up your Google Form page is to direct traffic, to direct people to the page. So they fill it. Once they fill it, Google Form will automatically be happy to keep the record of those details in the spreadsheets. So in which you can access it and you can ask. You can extract, you can extract, extract those emails. You can extract it, then you can upload it on your email uh, marketing platform that you have used. And I I think I named some platform. I said name uh, Mayship. Mayship. There's there's uh, there's uh, one platform for Mayship. That one is free. So you just sign up. Once you sign up, so you can upload your uh your email. If you already have an email list, you can upload it there. And if you don't have an email list, so there are several options you can use to create an opt-in page also there. And we have uh, get response. So the one I love most is get response because that one is more. Mm, I don't want to put it. You can automate a lot of things with the guest response. Or like mainship. Mainship, there's there are some limitations there, but the get response, you can automate a lot of things. Let's say you want to send uh email sequence to people now. Let's say you want to send email to like five thousand persons, you already have their email email address. You want to send email to like five thousand persons. So you can actually set, and you want to send that email for 30 days. So you can actually set that email up, the sequence, like, okay, what do you want to send to them the first day, the second day, the third day, to, 30, to the 30 day. So if you, you can just set everything up in a day and you automate it, once you automate it like this, the system will be sending the email to them even without you lifting a finger. So it will be doing it automatically. That's one thing I love about um, um what is it called? Get response. Because you cannot do that on mission unless you upgrade. There are several packages unless you upgrade it to the standard. So email marketing is very essential. And I've seen a lot of people they think email marketing for maybe like big brands, maybe like big companies, and no, no, it's not like that. Even if you are if you are on a Barbie salon. Or you are running uh, a beauty salon or whatever business you are doing, you can use email marketing. So there are several ways of doing that, right? So okay, let me just cite an example. Let's say you are you are running a uh, uh, Barbie salon now, a Barbie salon business, all right? So your customers, there is a way you can collect their email. You can just promise them that okay. Um, you can just promise them something. Just like what I explained last week. I explained something about lead magnets. I said bribe that you give to people for, the, for to collect maybe their details or something for them, right? So you can just use that lead magnet. You can promise them something that okay, if you 
sign up on this page, like you create an opt-in page, let them know that if they sign up on this page, you are going to give them maybe like 20% of their next fabric. Is anybody getting the idea? Hello? Yes. Okay, I'm getting the idea. You are the only one talking. Where are our dress? Are we not following? No. Are we getting the idea? I don't just want to talk to you. All right. So now, as if you are running a Barbie salon business, so you can tell them, okay, um, fill this form or opt in on this, like your up, you send their link to your opt in page to them. Okay, you tell them that they should sign up here and get 20% off their next Barbie. All right, so they will do it. They will, let's say your Barbies are you charge 1000 naira, so and you want to give them 20% off. That means by the time they will be coming. To Bab next time they will be paying eight hundred naira, so they want they will do they will fill it. So with that you used to collect their email, or their whatever you just want to collect is email, phone number, or whatever whatever you just collect it there. So you can there's something called upselling. You can even upsell them for another another thing. Let's say now after collecting their details, you know you are running a Barbie salon business. You understand? So you can. You can up, you can upsell them for maybe a cream, maybe a cream that like I don't it's like an air cream, you know, it's, it's still aligned with the business you are doing. You can upsell them for air cream using email marketing. You can just tell them blah blah. You can just pass any message you want to pass to them. Now pass it. Pass message marketing. I already explained that the SMS that we do receive on our phone. It's what they call instant message marketing. Some people call it book SMS. All right. So if I want to send MS, SMS to a whole, if I stay in Ibadan. So Ibadan, your state. So if I want to send email, um, SMS to people in Ibadan here, I know what to do to get their detail, to get their phone number. So once I get their phone number, I can send SMS to them as I want. You understand? So what I will do too is part of the what I just explained now, lead magnets. So I'll just offer them something for free in exchange for their phone number. So once I get their phone number, I can do whatever I want with it. All right. So there are a lot of platforms that are using this, um, can be doing this instant message marketing for the platform. So then we move to affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is very, like, it's fantastic. It's, fa it's very great. When it comes to business, you know, you can apply it to any business. I don't want to know the kind of business. Even if you are not selling a physical product, let's say you are selling a digital product, you can implement applied marketing to it and it's going to, it's going to boom your sales. Let's say you are not even selling a product, whether digital product or physical product. Let's say you are selling a service. So there's something we call drop servicing. It's, it's like applied marketing. So you can just offer people uh, you can just offer them something. You can tell them that, okay, let's say you are a, you are a web developer now. You, your web developer, uh, this thing, maybe to design a website is 200. You charge them, let's say, $2,000. Okay. I want you to bring people for me for a web developing um, this thing, for a web developing this thing. So once you bring people for me, you'll be getting so 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 percentage per person that that bring a web development um, task for me, a job, a web developing job for me. So let's say it's two thousand dollars. I can just offer them. Maybe you get fifty percent. Can I say you get twenty percent. People will go out there. They will look for people that are interested in web development and they'll bring them down to you and you collect your money, $2,000, and you give them the commission. So if you boom your sales, imagine you have. One person for you per month. So you know how, how much you are going to be making with that. So you know how much you are going to be making with that. Let's say, like, 
Ten person is bringing one person for you for a month. People, but I don't know one person. I mean, like I have question for It's a win-win game. They will win by making money, and at the same time, you also you are making sales and you are making money. You understand? So that's it for that. And mobile marketing, I said my mobile marketing. Too. I said those adverts that you see on mobile apps are what they call mobile marketing. Most of the time, it's it's it, it, true Google adverts that they do sell it off. True Google adverts. Because when you are setting up your Google adverts, Google will ask you, where do you want uh, your adverts to be displayed? Do you want it to be displayed on mobile? Or do you want it to be displayed on websites? Or do you want it to be, to be displayed on YouTube? You can select. Or you want it to be displayed on search engine marketing, which I think, which is when people search for it on Google, it's going to pop it up. So that's it for that. And the influence market, I also explained that. I explained it. I use celebrities as an example. That okay, all the celebrity, what they are doing, most of them, what they are doing is influence market. Yeah, influence market. You know, they already have influence, they have followers. Mark, Mark Angel, if you're a Nigerian, if you know Mike, Mark Angel, if you go and check his page on Facebook now. I know of Facebook, I don't know of Instagram. On Facebook, I think he has is it 13 million or 12 million, 12 million followers. Now imagine that you have a product and you tell market to help you just give a shout out for that product. You know how many, how many sales you are going to get. So that's it. So people already build in trust. They already build trust in those people. So when they say something, when they recommend a product, so it will be easy for people to make a buying decision. So influence marketing. And I also explain video marketing. So I, I explained that one to video marketing is what everybody knows. You have seen a video that like a video like an advertisement many times. So those things are, are video marketing. So you can I also explained this last week, but I just want to touch it, touch it, touch it. Because what we have on this slide is not much. We just touch it, touch it for like one hour, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Then we go for strategy section. Just talking, talking, talking. So you just have to gain something and have the full knowledge. All right. So I also explained something there last Sunday. I explained something and last week. I said something about uh usp usp so who can who can tell me what usp is like the full meaning of usp so if you know just unmute yourself and say something nobody's following me hello Hello, is there anybody here? If you know what USP means, just unmute yourself and talk. Hello. So nobody now. <laughs> that means you if you guys have not been following my class, my team. So I really talked about this last last week. I really talked about it very well. And with this, you need to know this because it's very important. That is what you make you. You need selling out. proposition, <laughs> ma. Hello, what do you say? I didn't hear you. So this thing like it's very important because one thing i know that i don't want to know the business you are doing no matter business you are doing there are hundreds of people that are doing that same business so for people to now be patronizing you like leave every other hundred person and come and patronize you there must be something unique about your business so there must be something you are doing differently from others so that's what this actually means. 
unique selling proposition. You understand? So it is very important. I don't want to know. I I think I said I said I started an example as because it, I don't I don't know what they are talking about. There are some products like should I call it product? Okay, let me say service. There are some service that people are rent like other people they are renting those service at a very low price. Yeah, there's a service that some people are renting for five thousand. Like I'm talking about my personal self, my personal experience. So and I'm renting that same service for ten thousand naira. So that's times two of the money. And people prefer to come and patronize me than buying from those with five thousand. Do you know why? The thing is, they know that this thing, I don't just have head knowledge of it. All right. So I don't just have head knowledge. I have the full understanding, and I'm, I have a lot of experience on that particular aspect. So people prefer to come and pay me ten thousand than paying five thousand to somebody that just said like just talking, talking, talking. I does not have any experience. The reason is because they know that when they pay me ten thousand and I teach them that thing, at the end of the day, if there is a challenge, they can come back to me because I have experience on that and I help them to resolve it. So I can call that my own USP because that's what makes me stand out from other people that are even charging lesser. Did anybody understand what I just explained now? Yes. yes. Okay. So, so that is, that I, is just... Sorry, sir, I'm, most... I'm sorry, sir. I just came in now. So I'm, I don't know what you just said earlier. Okay, so, okay. What, so I what, I was that, what I was saying is that... What I said is that no matter business you are doing, no matter thing, maybe it can be a service, it can be a product you are selling, there are hundreds of other people doing that same thing, like selling that same product. So for somebody to now decide that, to, not, to now decide to come and patronize you, like to leave every other person and come and patronize you, that means there is something unique about what you are doing. It, there, is, there is something unique about what you are doing. There is something you are doing differently that others are not doing. So, I'm, and I said that is the meaning of this USP I am talking about. All right? So, there must, so be, there something must be unique. There must be something unique about your product. So, and I cited an example. I used my personal self as example. I said, there is this service others are rendering for. Some people are even rendering for 3,000. Some people are rendering for 5,000. And I'm rendering that same service. Same service. I'm rendering for 10,000. And people still prefer to come and patronize me than patronizing others. And the reason is because they know that this thing, I am good at it. I have years of experience on this, on this particular thing. You understand? So I am different from those that they just go and watch YouTube video and start organizing class that are blah, 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 blah. You understand? Or those that just go and attend one class and started. When, they know that when they pay me that 10,000 naira, even at the end of the day, after teaching them what they pay for, if they have challenges, they can actually come back to me. All right? And I will help them to resolve that challenges they are facing. Not like others that once they just pay, once they are collect their money, like they, they will jackpot. I don't know if you know, if you're Nigeria, if you're Nigeria, you understand what Japan means. They run away once they collect the money. So that is what makes me different for people uh, from other people that were already that same service. So and that's what makes people to patronize me more instead of patronizing others. So that's my own you. SP. I hope you understand now. now. All right, I do. So. Yes. So now, what I'm now saying is that any business you are doing, any service you are renting, make sure you know you have your USP and you know it very well because that is what will be making you to like. You can be putting that as your own marketing, as your marketing distance. You understand? So that your you must know you seriously you must know it you must know your USP you must know it it's very important to know it and USP can be anything I I mentioned it last week I said 
your own USB may be, you can maybe your product now. People, other people are selling the product for for, for five thousand naira, then they collect two thousand naira for delivery. So you can be rendering a free delivery for, for your customer. So that free delivery is going to be your own uh, uh, your own USB. In which is going to make people to patronize with them. Say, okay, since this person is offering a a, a free delivery to my Dell step, okay, let me patronize this person. Then the person that is charging for delivery, even though the price you are telling that product is more expensive than the price of the other person, people will still come and patronize you. Because on a, on a reasons, people love comfort. Like they love comfort. They love comfort. Like me now, I prefer to, if I want to buy stuff, I prefer to buy it online and they come and deliver to my door, my doorstep than to go to market and buy. I don't like stress. So people like comfort. So now, when you are offering them free delivery, they will know that you have eased their stress. Like their stress of, okay, the person that uh, is, is charging for de uh, free delivery, uh, the person that is charging for delivery, and that delivery itself, it's not that they will bring it to their doorstep. Maybe just, just give them a pick up um, location that, okay, go and pick it up in this location. You understand? And you that you are offering free delivery, and you are, you are not just offering free delivery, you said you are going to deliver to the adults. So people are going to see that as their own way, and they, because of that, they patronize you and going to make you another know, I hope you understand. So no matter what you are doing in your business, whatever, your service, make sure you have that one. It's not that they are not good, they are good, but you know we are different to the market. So, if a graphic designer wants to do a graphic style, if you design a graphic as a graphic designer, right? But if I want to design a graphic now, I will design a graphic like a marketer. So, my graphics will be like the persuasive. When you see my graphics, there will be a touch of market in there. You, you you can see the difference now when you are just when I give my job to that and start that when I do by myself, I will apply marketing to it. You 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 want to understand like that. So I can keep my graphic design. So for me to give you graphic design tact that you should be graphic design, I will have said that okay, this person have experience in marketing. Okay, when I see that, when I give this tax to this person to design graphics for me, it's going to Design graphics with a touch of marketing. So it's that marketing experience that that graphic designer have that make the person stand out from every other graphic designer. I hope you get that you you understand what I just said. So that just you, uh, your USP is very important, very important. That's why you see all this close up. You see that um, I said close up. All this toothpaste. You see that there are some there are some uh. Toothpaste company and are very expensive. Like, what is the name of this most expensive? Uh, the most expensive, what is it called? Okay, who knows the name of that? Uh, the most expensive uh, toothpaste in Nigeria. Is it President or Orabi? Who knows? I think Orabi. Orabi, yes. Orabi is very expensive. And people should buy. People still buy it. Why? Because there's something. I think in their market, I think they say if you wash your mouth with or a bit, you can, you can, you can like, it is serve for like 24 hours or so. And it, they actually put a lot of, like, they put something that is, that makes them stand out from every other species. So that is why their own product is, is expensive. And people will still prefer to go for that product because there's something unique. There's something in that product that is not in other toothpaste. I hope you, you 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 understand now with different example I've given you now. So with this, I hope you should understand why you need to know your USB and why you need to apply it to your business. So, so 
So that's it, does it. So your USP is what makes your business, just like what I've said, your business and its product or service different. It's, it is what you offer that no one else does in your market. Whether that's higher quality, it can be higher quality. Maybe the product you are selling is of high quality. People know that if I buy this, this, uh, this stock gene from this guy, this gene is very, is very, it's of high quality. It's of high quality. It's not, it's not the type of machine I'll buy. I'll wash it once, twice, and it will fade away. You know, that one, they know that, okay, this guy is selling high quality. So that's your USP. It's going to be, most of the time, it might be a low price. Maybe others are selling their own at very expensive price, and your own price is very cheaper. You understand? And you are selling the same product of the same quality, but your price is cheap. Is, is different. It's much cheaper. So that your lower price is your own USP. Because of that lower price, people will patronize you and to be a better customer experience. Okay, for this customer experience, I started an example of a guy that I went to buy a laptop from, and I later, I later now, uh, take I later now refer my guy that wanted to buy a laptop of two million naira to the guy, to the guy that I bought my own laptop for, just because of the excellent uh, customer experience that I that he gave me. So your own USB can be customer experience. Like you know how to better customer experience, you know how to relate your, with your customer feedback, you know how to take care of your customer. So one thing that I want you to understand is that customers, you know, they should I say they are pride. <laughs> they are pride. So what you need to do now is where they are pride. You know, everybody have everybody have everything. What you need to do is the you feel their pride. Let them feel uh I don't want to put it. So much bought me English. Hello, so much bought me English. What are the Anyone for what? Bore with English for <laughs> eh? what do you say? You said we should borrow English. I don't understand. That makes sense. Yes. I didn't hear you. Okay, let me just proceed. So let them feel uh, like like a, like the boss. Let them feel like the boss. Let them feel like celebrity. Every customer should be like celebrity. You should treat them like celebrity. When they buy from you, you, you follow up with them. Because with that said, they can patronize you for all that stuff. But... When a customer buys something from you now and just forget about the customer, you don't even care to add that. Okay, how far about the product you bought the last time? How was it? Did, did it solve your problem? Did it do this? Did it do that? You don't even care about them. So they will they will not want to patronize you the next time, the next day. So your own can be excellent, better customer experience. Maybe when people buy stuff from you, okay, you after maybe after the second day, you call them, hello, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so how far about the product you bought the other day? Hope it it works. Hope it's hope it's how is the family and those kind of things. That person will feel like okay, this person this person has have me in mind. You understand? So one thing for for every business, number one thing, your number one part is that you must have your customer in mind. Like you must have them in mind because I don't want to know how good your product is if you don't have anybody to part. So you must have your customer in mind. You know, it should be make it should make everything easy for you. Because when you have them in mind, you know what they want part time. So that does it. I don't want to. Okay, I don't even talk to myself. I don't want to go more deep into that. Okay, so the own might be new technological innovation. Maybe um, okay, let me just say shop right now. No one go to shop like shop right, you can actually use lift to Maybe you are going to the to the uh you are going upstairs. Let's say you are going to the to the last two or something stuff like that. So instead of you to be to be to be climbing st staircase, to so just use lift. So that lift in that shop right, it will make a difference from a let's say a shopping mall that is don't have a lift that is only staircase that they have. 
You understand what I'm trying to say? So they will use that as their own USB. Okay, you know that if I go to shop right now, the stress, I will not pass this to stress to climb this staircase to the last story that I'm going. So I can actually use lift, elevator, it will take me there without stress. You understand? So that was techni uh, technological innovation. Then, if you can't identify your USB, you you have a hard time convincing prospective customers to buy from you instead. So if you so if you if you know your USB and you know it very well, to convince to persuade people, persuade your customer to buy from you to, to be very easy. Be very easy because you already know what your competitors are offering, right? And you know what you are offering, and you see the difference. So is that different? Be using to marketing for them. I hope you understand now. So let's move. Now, a lot of you because uh, a lot of you have you will have been thinking in your mind that all this USB, all this USB. So why do I even need that USB? Why? Why do I need it? So I just explain why you need the USB here. All right. So I talked about this last week also. But let me just let me just touch, 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 touch. We are always reading about how many messages consumer are provided with every day. I'm using Glow. I'm using MTN. If you see the messages that all these people are, do send to me every time, you know two of them are competitor. MTN and Glow, they are competitor. Because they are the same thing. So if you see how they are bombarded with messages every day, like um, if, you, if, you, if you load a chart card of 1,000 Naira now, it will give you a bonus of 5,000. Glow to will come. You say if you look a card of one thousand naira, they give you um um they give you a bonus of ten thousand naira. So all of them are doing their marketing. So what did what you make me to just say okay, I'm not going to I'm not going for I want to go for MTN. I want to I want to go for MTN. So what you make me to decide the the network I'll be loading I'll be recharging. Is their, the quality they are offering, like the unique, the uniqueness in them. And it's very obvious. Compare Glow and MTN together, it's very obvious. Everybody knows that Glow is very, is very, is very slow. Like, it's very bad in most area, like my area, and Glow is not, it's not, it's, it's a no area for me. So, but MTN is very fast. So that fastness and this effectiveness of MTN. So that's our, their own USP. And that's why I'm using you, I'm using MTN like every week, like two weeks. I do buy data of 24 gig and on MTN every time. I don't since when I've been using this video, I can't even count how many times I've, I've I've subscribed on this. Even if I was subscribed, maybe like just one gig, two gig, like that. So that's effectiveness of MTN. That is what that's what makes them to go ahead. Like to go ahead of glow. That is what is making me subscribe on MTN. Let's say MTN2 is not functioning well. I won't subscribe on it. So I just use that example. So you should know that you should know why you need USB. That thing that is making you that will make you unique from others. You understand? So they cannot re evaluate service and product every time they need to make decision, uh, a post chase. Just like what I said. Products and service into group and position and position them accordingly. Just like the way I organize both MTN and Glow into, into groups, then, and then and I decide the one that, okay, this one is more effective. So this is what I'm doing. For you. So that's what all this happens. Then, for instance, okay, this is an example. The fast, the fastest car. The fastest car. Wait, which which car is the most fastest car? Like I don't have experience. What car is the most fastest car? Who knows the most fastest car? Like the car that is most fastest one. Did anybody know? Did anybody know that? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Lambo, thank you, sir. He said Lamborghini. Well, I don't know. He said it's Lamborghini. And the most expensive car is what? Tesla. Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. 
then the the best value car like the car that people respect so much is what tesla i don't really know much about car like that so now people will categorize this car according to their effectiveness so they already know that okay if you want a car that is fast that is very fast uh, that is uh, so i said the fast the safest sorry it's the safest, not fastest. Sorry, I'm very sorry about that. So the safest car. Okay, let's assume it's Lamborghini. So if I want a safest car now, I'll go for Lamborghini. So I know that any product I buy from Lamborghini, the car is safe. Then the most expensive car. So I know it's Rolls Royce. So if I want to buy the most expensive car now, I will know I'm going for Rolls Royce. So nobody needs to persuade me or to know. I already know what I want that. Okay, so this company, the cars they are producing is very expensive. Then if I want the, the the best value car, so let's assume it's Tesla, which is the electric motor. So I will know that, okay, if I want the best value car, I'm going for Tesla. So I already group them. So when I want to make a, a, a buying decision, I will know that, okay, this is what I want. This is where I'm going to get it. And like that, like that. So a strong selling proposition well communicated we help customer quickly understand just like what i just explained now when you when you have your usp it should be even it should be easy for customer to understand you so when they want something part time they know where to go to. you understand when they want something part time they know what to go to. if they want quality high quality they know that okay this person offer high quality if they want cheaper something, something that is cheaper, they know, okay, this person offer cheaper something. If they want something with free delivery, they know that, okay, this person offer free delivery on East or after. You understand? So that is it for that. So let's proceed. Now, the question now is, I've been talking about USP, USP, USP. How do you find the USP? How do you find it? So finding your USP means having a good understanding of your target market, your competition, your competitor, and your industry. Do you get that point? Do you get the point I try to make here? To find your USP, it means you must understand, you must have a good understanding of your target market, like your target market. Who are those people who want to sell to? Who are those people you want to sell to? Then you must have a good understanding about your competitors. Who are those people that are doing the same thing together, that are selling the same product, that are getting the same service? Who are those people? There's something we do, uh, uh, most of my guys that do dropshipping. Who is aware of, okay, I, I explained last class. Who is aware of dropshipping here? Nobody. It's what you know, but you don't just know it's dropshipping. So let's just so, I have guys that do dropshipping. So there's, there's this thing that you normally do. Because this dropshipping, the competition is too much. Especially if you are selling to the foreign country. For, 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 for other countries, that is not like that. You are targeting other countries like US, Canada, Australia, Germany, and other countries. There are so many competitors there. So that means you need to do something differently for you to get people to buy your products. You understand? So there's something we, they do, those of, uh, most of my guys normally do. So they do send bots, like bots. They do send bots to a website, maybe a store on their computer. So what they are, what that bot wants to do, what the bot will do, just scan, but this, please, mute yourself. Okay, thank you. Because this drop shipping stuff, like just like I said, I said there are a lot of competitors. Here. So if you are selling a product that every other person is selling, come on, you might you may find it hard to make money with drop shipping. So your product must be unique. It must must not be a product that people can easily find. You understand? So this is what they will do. They will send their bots to their competitor store to go and scan the kind of product the person is having. So after they have gotten the 
the roof up. Okay, they will now see, okay, this is what I should do. This is this is what my computer is doing. Okay, this is what I should not do. And like that, like, like that. So you must understand your computer, those that are doing things like that. Please, that person should not miss, uh, should miss himself, please. All right. So now let's use, um, let's just use a practical example. Let's say Coke. Now, Coke, the company that is doing Coca-Cola and Pepsi. If you know that these two, uh, these two um, brands, they are, they are, they are competitor of themselves in Nigeria, like a big competitor. So there are some things. There are some things that those people uh, that Coke could be doing to observe what Pepsi are doing, like to know what they are doing. Maybe they may have a spy that will be spying. Okay, this is what these people are doing. Okay, so okay, let's do it like this, like that. So you must. Understand your computer when it's going to uh, understanding your US because understand your computer. Then your industry, the kind of industry you are. Are you into fashion industry? Are you into making money online industry? Are you into um, entertainment? Are you into whatever industry you are? You must have a good understanding of it because that's what to make you to know how you are going to find your USP. All right. So now I now point out three points, like three points that is very important that you, you need to know for you to find your, to understand your target audience, like to understand your USP. And number one is you must understand your target audience. That is number one. Just like I already explained it to yourself. You must understand your target audience. Just like I do see, I've said this time with that number. Those that you are sending to must know them. You must know them very well. You must know what they are thinking part time. You understand? Because they do change. I can decide to change my mind that okay, now I want to stop this class. <laughs> I can decide to change my mind that okay, I'm not doing this class. I want to stop it. You understand? So just like that, people can change their mind. Somebody might have it in mind to patronize you before. Maybe the person has people promise you that okay, I'm going to buy this product to two days. And that day, you just see that the person went ahead to go and find the person that place. You understand? So that means you need, as, as a business owner, as a uh, digital marketer, wherever, wherever, you must understand your target audience very well. You must know what they are thinking part time, what they want part time. You must follow the trend. All right? So let me just say, I want to buy a joggers now. I want to buy, I already have it in mind. I want to buy a black joggers. All right? So I can, I can just get to the market and once I get to the market, I see black joggers and I see another brown joggers. I, I can decide, to, oh, sorry, I'm not going for this black joggers again. Do you have brown? If the person does not have, oh, let me look for brown. Yeah, if the person buy, uh, if the person have the brown, I'll buy it. So people can change their mind at any time. So that is why it's very good. Every time you must know. You must follow the trends, you must know what your target audience, you must have understanding about them, what they are thinking part time, what they want part time. Understand? So the second one is what is your competitive advantage, right? Your competitive ad advantage. What are the advantages that your computer has? So how can you how can you use it to skyrocket your own sales? How can you use it to to, to find your own USP? All right, so you must know what your competitive advantage is. Then look at industry trend. Look at industry. Now you must follow trends. You must know what what people really want every fucking time. You must know that because now I'm very sure there are some product that people are really buying. More buy that product again. Now let's assume that you already stock up that product that people are already buying three days ago. You already stock it up because you see that people are buying it. And now you now stock it up. You now stock like ten thousand, like one thousand uh, of it of that product. You stock it up now. And now people, the, the trend has changed. People are buying another thing else. Like people are buying another thing. So you see, you see, you see the kind of implication that that one is going to play. So part time must follow the trend. Okay, is it iPhone 
13 that people are using now. See iPhone 14. I'm just using iPhone as example. Okay, people that are in, into fashion industry. Now, do which which brand is raining now? Which brand are people wearing now? Is it Dior? People are wearing. Is it is it Passat? People are wearing. Is it Gucci? That people are wearing. So just follow the trend. What people are doing now? What people are doing? Just let me use the Nollywood um this as example. The Nollywood. Gonna those gone are the days. Those days that people will sit down and be watching Nollywood movies. Now people are not people don't have time to be sitting and be watching movie of two hours, watching movie of three hours, except it's American movie. But all this money would would uh, movie. People don't have time to be watching. People prefer to, to go to next place go and watch American movie than just sitting there watching the movie uh, not only with movie that even when you are watching in 30 minutes, you already understand what is going to happen at the end of the movie. You understand? So people will even prefer to go and be watching comedy on YouTube or Instagram than to sit down and be watching Hollywood. So now, let me just say, Hollywood, they are out of market. They even say out of market. Like, gradually, they are going out of market. So that is why you see most of these Hollywood um, actors and artists now. Most of them are, they are doing comedy. God, they see that, okay, this is what people, are, this, people this is what people want in this particular industry now. You understand? Are you getting the examples I'm citing? Please just unmute yourself and say something. Hello? Yes. So are you you are getting yes. the point I'm trying to okay? Thank you. That means you are getting the point I'm trying to make. So you must follow the trend. People know that all this movie, all this Baba Latin, all this Nollywood actor, all this Nollywood um art trend. Most of them it's comedy they are doing because they know that that's what people want. People don't have that. I think I saw a news. They say that one of the artists was saying that there's no more, there's no money in Nollywood industry. Now that's why they are doing comedy. Uh, that's why they are shooting comedy. You see that most of them are they are shooting, they are, it's comedy they are doing because they understand the market. They know that okay, this is what people are want, this is what people want now. Like me now, I can't even say that okay, this is when like I will sit down and watch Nollywood movie. It's a, Instead of me to be watching that Nollywood movie, I'll go and be watching comedy on Facebook. I'll go and be watching Brain Jota. I'll be watching all these um, dollars, all these comedians. You understand? So, you must look at the trend, the trend of the of the industry that you are. Your own may be, if you are in fashion industry, you must know what that kind of clothes people are wearing by that time. Because if you go and buy clothes that are, that is out of, like, out of trend, you just see that it's only you that you wear the clothes. So that just you must know your the trend, like the trend in the industry. Yeah, so that is just it. Then I put this note here. I say consider current trend. Okay, that's how to do it. Like, you consider your the current trend and those issues that will be most important in five years' time. Now see if you can. Extend your advantage to this area. All right. So now I sorry. Now I put out a step by step guide to creating your own USP. Now you know I've already explained what USP is. I've explained why you need USP. All right. Then what is that explained just now? I explained how you can find your USP. Now, once I want to give you a guide. So if you are with pen and bio, okay, there's, there will be even recording for this class. But if you are with red, I am pen. Um, step by step guide on creating your own USP. If you want to create your own USP, you know, okay, this is my own unique selling point, And this is what I am going to be using for my own marketing. This is what to make me stand out for my competitors, all right? So now, number one is you make a list of what you know about your target audience. Like, what do you know about your target audience? Your target audience, are they, are they, are they, are they female? Are they male? Your target audience, are they people between the age of 20 to 40? Are they the people between the age of 40 to 60? So you must understand that. You must list it down. You must 
what you understand by target audience, what those that need that thing you are selling must list it down. The next number two is make a list of all the needs that your product or service could meet. The problem a lot of people are facing these days is that they are not making sales, right? The problem a lot of people are, are, are facing is because most of people sell that they are selling a product or they are creating a product. They don't know the benefit, the need that their product is meeting. Like they don't know it. They don't know it. And without that, there's something I do call product, product knowledge. Product knowledge. Did anybody like do anybody understand what product knowledge is? What experience do you have? Like, what can you tell us about when you hear product knowledge? What can you say about that? So if you know, just omit yourself and say something. Product knowledge, because it's very important. Hello. Well, when you hear I'm thinking okay. about that you should probably know every single thing about the product you want to sell out to anybody. You should exactly. be knowledgeable about everything. Exactly. But the problem is, I can even say, let's say, let's say 50% out of, out of those people that are selling products, especially on this one, so most people that are selling products, they don't even know what uh, the problem that their, their, their product is solving. They don't have knowledge about their product. And if you don't have knowledge about their product, like you, you the person will struggle to make sense. Okay, let me just cite an example. Let me just cite an example. Okay, now, I want to, let's say I want to invest in so real estate now. All right? Then I, 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 I get, I got in touch. Let's say I get in touch with two real, age, real estate agents, all right? Then the agent A now and agent B. Let's say the agent A now is not, is not knowledgeable about the real estate stuff. What the person does after is money, money, money. This, I think, this example I, I, I want to make now, I, I read it in a book. If you know Aki Alabi, who knows Aki Alabi here? It's one of the top marketer. Now, he's the owner of uh, Naira Do you know Akin Alabi? There's one of his books, How to Sell to Nigeria. Who knows that book and who knows Akin Alabi? Nobody. Yeah. Yeah, I so think I've just... heard of Akin Alabi, but I don't know the book. Okay, yeah, the book. You can get it, How to Sell to Nigeria. I have the book. So, the guy made this, this example I want to cite, I want to make now. I, I think there's something like that in the book. So, now, agent A is not knowledgeable about real estate very well. What he just after is to, to, to just refer people to go and buy land and collect his own share and like that. But agent B is more knowledgeable about real estate. Now, I I walk up to agent A. Okay, I okay, I need the house. All right, at I need house somewhere around Lagos Island. Okay, let me see. Let's say let's say I need a house in Aja now. Okay, so agent A just take me to your house. I just tell me, okay, this is the house, blah blah blah. The house is tw it's twenty million, and this 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 just like the person don't even give me value, don't even tell me the kind of stuff I'm going to meet up in the house. Just show me, okay, this is twenty million. So uh, twenty million. So are you paying now? Are you like, paying through transfer or through cash or stuff like that? You understand what I mean? So now agent B. Now, I now went to meet Agent B. Agent B now take me to that same house. And this Agent B is telling me, quality uh, building material, the block is so, 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 the, um, the sink or the, the roof, the roofing is made up of uh, this kind of thing. Like the house is built up of um, a good, building material and this house has a future value like this house now if you want to sell it the next five years you are going you can even be selling times two of the money that you'll be you'll be getting it like the times let's say you get the house for 20 million now by the time of selling in the next five years you are going to be selling for like 40 million naira and like that that person give me value explain everything to me and even tell me that okay even if you want to 
know a good house. This is how to recognize a good house. He explain he, has, he explain how I can organ how I can identify a good house, and he explain how I can understand a good real estate investment. That I know that in the next five years, this investment is going to appreciate. So, and that person even give me that kind of value. Even the person never even pitch sales to me. The person never even say, okay, if you want to buy, if you want to buy now, uh, transfer to me. And the person just explain and give me knowledge about that real estate, right? Now, if I want to make my buying decision, who do you think I'll go and meet to go and to, to get that apartment, to get the house? Who do you think I'll go and meet? HMB, Alpha. Yeah, sure, for sure. I'm going to meet HMB because I know this person really know what he or she is doing. This person know what he or she. But the problem is a lot of people they don't know, they don't know, they don't know what they are selling. Like they don't have understanding about what they are selling. And when you don't know, when you don't have knowledge about what you are selling, how do you want to convince people to buy into you? So there is this platform we call. As partner is an affiliate marketing platform. So this lady worked up to me. This, okay, she, she just came to my DM, I think like a month ago. She said, Okay, uh, bro, can you tell me about affiliate marketing? Okay, but well, I don't even know the name. So she said, like, Can you tell me about affiliate marketing? So I sent her a voice note saying what affiliate marketing was and what affiliate marketing is. I say everything to her. Then I now try to recommend some platform that can learn affiliate marketing to her. I explained two platforms. I told her about two platforms. One is Lenoflix. So that Lenoflix, I'm, I'm a member of Lenoflix. It's an affiliate marketing platform where you can learn affiliate marketing. And at the same time, you can affiliate by, by sending the product on the platform. And there's one platform for it's part name. All right. So after I sent her that post, so she's now telling me that she's already a member of expert name. Now, as a member of expert name, you ought to have understanding about affiliate, what affiliate marketing. When you hear affiliate marketing, you know that, okay, this is what affiliate marketing is, and this is affiliate marketing is not. So you can imagine, you that you already have, you already in expert name, you already know you should that you, you are expected to know what affect marketing is. You are not asking me that can I explain affect This is when you don't know how to, how to tell people about what what sell to them. You understand that kind of thing. That, that lady does not have single knowledge about what affect marketing is. And you are telling people to come and to come and register. You are telling people to come and join your affiliate marketing platform. When you yourself you don't even know, you don't even know what uh, the platform is offering. So you see that kind of thing. So it's very important to have a product knowledge. With that, you can you can express yourself. You can express yourself. You can persuade customers to buy because. It's those benefits that you know your product are so, that that us that will be using for your own marketing. Let's assume you want to sell stuff to to right. to somebody with diabetes. Now the person have diabetes and you have a product that can solve diabetes, but if you don't have understanding of it, how can you convince that person that okay, this product will solve your problem? This problem is uh, this product will solve your diabetes problem. So in whatever you do, make sure you have full understanding of your product or service. Know the problem your product On my water, and you see people pull it, buy into my offer because they know that I have knowledge about this. Thing. I'm not just saying things not because I want to sell. I'm saying I'm giving them the offer because I know that this product is so that you don't understand. Then the next point is screen this against. Okay, so once you have made uh, you made the list of the target audience, 
then you make a list of the of the problem your product is solving. Then you strain, you strain it against strength and compass. Then you now remove the selling point. Okay, so let me just no, let me say what step of deep this thing. After you are making a list of the target audience, then you already make a list of the product. Sorry, you already make a list of the problem your product or services is solving. Then this is what you are now going to do. You will put it together, all this your target audience, this thing, and your the problem your product is solving. You put it together. Then you will now compare it to what your competitors are find are also doing. Then now you now remove. This like you now remove the selling point, like the selling point that are already been well met by your computer. Let's assume now that you are selling a bag and your friend is selling a bag also. Your friend is offering a free delivery. Use yourself, you are offering a free delivery. All right. Now, two of you, you are doing the same thing in common. You understand? So you already know that. So now you are now need you now need to find that thing that your customer is your friend is not doing that is what is going to be your own USP. it can be now you and your friend is offering free delivery your own can be follow up how do you follow up your customer so that one can be your own USP. so in that sense what you are doing like what two of you your, you and your computer are doing in common so you just make sure you are there's something unique that your Computers are not doing so that's your own USP. Then, so that's then the last point is match its potential USP against what you and your business are especially good at and how you want it to be seen. I hope you, I hope you understand what I just explained. All right, so by next week, we are going to be going to content marketing. So I hope you understand everything I just said. Please omit yourself and say something if you understand. Let me know. Hello. Yes. Please can can you do it all? Or I should just know that I've been wasting my time here since morning. No, you've not been wasting your time here since morning now. That's okay. So, can you tell me maybe one or two things that I just learned? Maybe others can learn from it. Thank you. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Okay, so I said, can you just tell Hello? me one or two things that you have learned today? Is anyone? Okay, okay you have not learned anything today. All right. Um, I know I've learned a lot. Okay. Um, okay, so can you just tell us about this um, USP? Okay. Um, USP, where um, your unique selling and um, proposition, um, knowing your audience and them, um, knowing how your your con your your market out there, then also learning um trying to view the type type of things your competitions are into. To, to not know how to um, do your own USP for it to sell out well for you. Yeah. No, this is <laughs> Network is kind of bad. Yeah. I can't really hear what you're saying. What do you say? Hello? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll say it again. I said I was talking about the USP aspect of the, the class. Okay. Where I learned um what you have to do is you have to can you hear me well? Hmm? 
I can hear you. Like is it better now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yes, it's better. Okay. Like. Okay. All right. I was saying where you 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 know your competition. You learn how to. You first have to um check what is trending. You always you should always know what is trending about the industry you're into. And again, you um you how would I put it? You also um um check what your competition are into and what they are also doing to be able to now know how you now put out your own USP out there to be able to treat customers and get the required um this thing, required customership you want or required results you desire. That's it. Thank you very much. It really means you have been following the class. So it means you have been following the class because that is that is that USP aspect of marketing is very important. And that's what a lot of people are lacking. And once you are lacking that, person destroys you. You destroy me because you not even know you not even know how to pass your message across to your customer. So you just be doing gambling, like a EJ. There's something you about we call it a EJ, UJ. You just be doing if it's on come right? no, you have to have your strategy in place. Okay, this is what these people are offering. Okay, this is what I'm offering. Okay, what can make difference? What can make difference between two of us? What to make some come and patronize me instead of patronizing the other person? So thank you, I know, for your great contribution. So everybody here on this call, you don't be say you are going to say one or two things you learn. Okay, Stella, there, is there anything you uh, you can tell us, like, what you just gained today from today's class? The USP aspect, if you, if you notice, I really focus today on USP because the truth is, if you don't understand this aspect of marketing, the USP aspect of marketing, see, the person gets you, like, that's why I say a lot of business owners, at the end of the day, we, we get frustrated and they give up. And it's because they don't understand this USP aspect, aspect of marketing. They just think it's by... It's far more than that. So that does it. So Stella, I'm still expecting you to say something. Please, what I've learned today so that others can learn from it also. We have a few minutes to do this before we can. I'll just say one or two things before we close the meeting. Stella, you're not here. All right. What have? Back to you. I don't know why this baby, um, Coco, I don't know why she left the class. Oh. Stella Andrew left, okay? So, what have nothing, you don't have anything to say about, about the class today. Okay, since um, Wahab refused to tell us what we learned in the class today, all right, so I'll just say, okay, I'll just say one or two things. I will just say one or two things about my experience in fine marketing. Yeah, so when it's come to this digital marketing, I've been to this digital marketing for like, okay, let me say 2017. Yes, 2017. And, but I started paying full attention to it in 2000. Um, I think 2020, yeah, that was when I designed from where I was working. So I decided to pay a close attention to this marketing. So, but my own aspect of marketing, just like I said, I focus on uh, 
content marketing using WhatsApp. So I really focus on WhatsApp marketing. All right. So now what I did was I, you know, if if you remember, I think the last class or the four, the first class we had, I told you that the most important thing about business, I don't want to know the kind of business, whether offline, online, the most important thing is audience. Number one thing is audience. And I said something, I said, even in church, if you hear church, if you hear body of Christ, okay, sorry for those that are not present here, if you hear body of Christ, the body of Christ we are referring to is human being, people. So if there's no people, there's no how church can grow. You understand? So church, pastors, okay, let me, let me just pass. Church need audience for them to grow. So just like the way church needs audience for them to grow, that is how you as a business owner need people for you to grow. If people are not patronizing you, there's, you, are, you, are, you are out of business. So that's it. So the first thing I make sure I worked on when I wanted to start my marketing journey on WhatsApp is audience. First thing I did was I built audience, a lot of audience. Then I built a lot of audience that I know that, okay, these people and the audience I built is not just, I don't just build audience for building sake, right? I built audience related to what I was doing then. So I was, what I was doing there is what I was still, um, still doing now, which is marketing. I'm making money online. I teach people how to make money online. So the audience I built are audience that are interested in making money online. So with that, after building the audience, I began to learn, um, um, I began to learn KLT. K KLT. There's something called KLT in marketing. Who knows what the full meaning of that KLT means? KLT. Do anybody know? Okay, let me just see since nobody knows. Okay, so when you hear KLT, the K means know, knowing. The L means like. And the T means trust. So let me explain. That, that K means knowing. Now, you know, I beat audience. know me at all so the first thing i need to do is k which is knowing so so i will there's a way i make them to know me okay this is the person okay this is allow johnson all right so knowing i want them to know me i make them to know me you understand then the next thing is l which is the like I made them to like me because there's a saying that people only buy from those that they know that they like and they trust. So I make sure they like me. So how do I do that? Through the content, the kind of content I put up on my status. So with that, they begin to, to, to build a relationship with me. I'm talking about total strangers that have not even like we don't even know each other. All right. So there's a way I drive them down to my WhatsApp. So I'm saying this, and this thing that I'm sharing with you is like a premium information that is, 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 is a course on its own that I'm selling, all right? So I'm just sharing it here. I don't know why, but I just decided to share it. So now I make sure they like me. They like me, then they trust me. And how did that build trust? Uh, there's this thing I mentioned in one of my course, in, my, in one of my WhatsApp marketing course. I said, when you give yes, let me explain. Let's say now, okay, let me just say uh, as a guy now, you just maybe um, you 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 are in a transit, maybe you are in a bus or you are in a cab, all right? So in the old up and there's eat everywhere, then you bought a chill table water, a cold uh, table water, right? So and there's a lady sitting down beside you, all right, and you see that this this lady is like there's eat everywhere is eat, all right. Then you bought table water instead of you to buy one, you bought two. You give one, you give one to the 
lady and take one. Now, what you did to that lady, I call it lead magnet. You gave us pure chill water. She needed it. So you gave her. So now let's assume that as a guy, you like the lady and you want to collect her phone number. To get her phone number, it will be very easy for you. Why? Because what you gave, what you what to give her is just it's just normal human nature. When people when people give you something for free, you'll be you'll be automatically indebted in them. Like you feel like you need to pay them back for something. Can anybody relate to what I what I'm trying to explain? Hello, is there, are you are we following? Can you relate to what I'm what I'm trying to say? Yes, nobody? sir. Okay, can you relate? Okay. Mm. Thank you. So, automatically, it's human nature. They will be indebted in you. All right. So now, back to my story. I after I built a total stranger, I made them to like me, like uh, to know me, then to like me. All right. So to trust me, which this hour I make, I make them to like to like to know me, to, uh, to like me, and to trust me. I gave them something for free. So in that way. What I'm giving them for free is a premium stuff that I am all to sell to them, but I'm offering them for free. So according to human nature, I have given them value options. So they'll be indebted in me. So they will feel like they need to pay me back for the goods I have done to them by giving them a valuable stuff for free. So now let me assume that I now bring out an offer to them. To buy to buy from me, like for them to buy from me, it would be very easy. Following the human nature, which means if I if you give somebody something for free, they'll be automatically indebted in you. They want to pay back. So they'll be thinking that, okay, so for this guy to give us this kind of free stuff for free, like this kind of valuable stuff for free, wow. So that means if you buy one of his premium stuff, it's going to be massive. I hope you understand that kind of thing. So that is that was how I brought out my brand. Like that was that was the strategy, the real strategy I used to bring out, like, like to build my brand up to this stage. And for now, so I had I had I had a an hang out last last towards the end of last week. I had an hang out. I I touched to the uh, online vendors hang out. I think the video is still on YouTube on my YouTube channel. So the video record is still there. So in this online hangout, uh, in this online vendor hangout, I, I I told them something that class. I told them that the hangout was around December last year. So I told them that between like from June last year to that time to that December, I've never post anything on my status like come and buy what I'm selling. Like I don't put, I don't advertise on my status. I don't post products on my status, and it's very rare every day for people not to bring deal. People not to bring deals for me, like to my DM or WhatsApp. It's very rare. So all these things that I've been doing, all the free value, all the valuable stuff, I've been giving them for free. So it has, it has been making them to be indebted in me that they will they will be even provoked in their in their within themselves that I need to pay this guy back for the for the stuff for the valuable stuff uh for the valuable stuff is given out for all for free. You understand? So that is how I I I, I was doing it. I was doing it. I was I was posting valuable stuff on my status and then. I I there's there, there's one ebook I created there, then that ebook I mentioned three businesses that I start up with. I I I think I've given like more than five thousand person access to this guide like to that guide. So in that guide I spend a lot of stuff. So that you reading that guide you don't sell. You will be already interested in it, like to buy stuff from. You understand? So, and I'm not selling that guy. I'm giving them for free. I hope you understand what I'm just trying to say. So that is how I just that is that is how I just brought up my brand brand like that up to this stage. And I said that I've, I don't up to now. Say if you are if you are the kind of person that already have my my phone number my uh phone number saved 
you see that on my status, most of the things I do on my status, most of the time I will just post motivation. Then I, I most sometimes I will post marketing tips and I'll post funny video comedy and all those kind of things. I don't really sell my status, but people are bringing deals for me to my DM. People are bringing business for me to my DM. You understand? So that is that is just the whole thing. So this strategy I just said, you can also apply it. Let people see you as a, as a person of value. Like let them see you as a person of value. When they see you as a person of value, whenever they have problems, uh, they know that uh, they know that Anu has solution to this problem. So whenever they have that problem, they will come to you. And by the time they are coming to you, they will not come empty added. Yes, they will bring money. So that means you are making a lot of money. So as a digital marketer, if they know that, okay, this person is not just a digital marketer uh, by a mouth. When, once they have a challenge regarding marketing, digital marketing, they will come to you, all right? Because they will know that, okay, this person knows what he or she is doing, all right? So now, this digital marketing training, I am taking you guys. I Just like I have said before, uh, earlier this class, uh, is practical, like experience, practical experience, all right? It's practical experience. So I know most of digital marketing trainers that they will just, Go and put off uh, slides, and they just be reading slides for you. Most of the things you see on slides are coming like are raw, raw like things that are practical experience. All right, so you need to build yourself up, build yourself up as a digital marketer. Okay, let's just put digital marketer aside as a business owner. You need to build yourself up. Make us let people see you, like and say, okay, this guy. Let me just buy from this guy. It's very good. Like, this guy is good. When you are good, you don't need to persuade anybody to come and buy from you. You will have pride. <laughs> you have pride. And as a, as a marketer, it's good to have pride. I see a lot of people, you see them um, on their status, come and buy what I'm selling. Uh, who can who can give me all those rubbish that they do see on their status? That? Who can relate? That is, come and buy what I'm selling. I've not eaten this morning. Come and patronize your baby. All those kinds of things. Patronize us. <laughs> eh? Patronize, patronize us. us. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those kind of things. See, one thing is that people don't, people like, I don't even want to put it. Although people buy with emotion. Like, when people want to buy, they buy with emotion. But it's not that kind of emotion. This one, they will see you as a beggar. Yes, they will see you as a beggar. It's only I know that I slept in the class. Okay? They will see you as a beggar when you are begging them to come and buy. Okay? When you are begging them to come and buy, they will see you as a beggar. So you are all, so to, you are sell. all to sell. Please, wow, please, please, wow. Um, please, yourself. Thank you. So they will see you as a beggar. You are not all to, you are not a beggar. You are, you are a marketer. You are a you are a business owner, so why would we be telling people come and buy what I'm selling? You bring out your offer, make it like professional, strategic, and people will be people will be the ones to be begging you to come and buy what 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 you are selling. They'll be begging you, ah, bros, that I don't just want to go to there. There are many times that people will be begging me, that ah, bros, please, right now I cannot go to the um I cannot transfer with my with my uh, mobile bank. Like they want to pay, they want to buy something from me. They'll be begging me that please I cannot I cannot and uh, transfer with my mobile banking. Please I need to go to PS. Please give me 30 minutes. Let me go to the PS to go and make the payment for this offer. You know that kind of things. I'm not the one to be running they'll be the one to be running after me because I will give them deadline. When I give them offer I can say this offer ends in two hours. And when I say it ends in two hours I mean it. So after two hours if you come I will not answer you. You understand? So you need to be. How do I want to put it? How do I want to put it? So you need to be. You need to be professional. You need to be professional. Not that telling people are uh, all sort of stuff that does not concern you. You understand? If you if you are my state of view, like if you are my audience on WhatsApp, I tell me, you tell me, 
I should call my partner just because you are hungry. Okay, now hungry go kill the person. Now hungry go kill you. I will not buy from you because you are hungry. No, I will buy from you because one, I see reasons why I need to buy that product. I see the need for it, not because you, you are hungry. But that's the mistake a lot of people need. What they they, they put their own interest, like their interest first, and which is not supposed to be so. You not put your interest first when it's come to business. Your cost, of, your audience interest. What is these people need? This thing I'm offering is this something that they need? So that's just that just. I'm just saying this so that I'll just so that we can pick one or two things and apply it to um your apply it to your uh your marketing distance and all these things I've been sharing with you. They are premium information. So I will advise you that every training, like all the previous one, if you have not gone through it, I think the the link for the first one is, is on the group already. Go and check it out. Because most of this information is, if I want to, I will, it's something that I will sell, that if I want to sell, I will I, I can sell. And most of this recording of this class, I can decide to, to go and sell it. I can decide to sell it because they are important information. So you can just, can just go through them I think it's on the YouTube channel of this uh, platform. Just go and watch it and you gain new things. All right. Because I'll tell you life, life experience, life experience. All right. So we just have a few minutes left. Wahab, you are back. You are back. Yeah. The network was somehow breaking. I couldn't unmute my, uh, my mic. So that was why I could oh. hear you clearly. But I couldn't mm -hmm. unmute my mm -hmm. mic. I don't know why. So I have to mm -hmm. leave and mm -hmm. reconnect before it mm -hmm. came back to normal. Okay. I understand this. I understand Nigeria. this Nigeria. <laughs> and it's, and it's, so now so do you now, have anything you want to add to what you just you just at all? I don't have anything to say, but I'm having a question. The question is that uh, I don't know when we would be having the normal practical section okay so i okay. didn't know we'd be having it i already said because practical when it comes to practical when it comes to practical hmm, it's going to consume a lot of time and you know this class is just two hours so if i if i say i should start practical and apart from that practical is not included in this class all right so it just it's not included. So anyone that won the practical, the person might need to to go for the um premium membership, like the premium mentorship, in which they are going to disclose to you on the group. The admin of the group is going to disclose it to you. All right. But I will try my possible best. I will try my possible best. Maybe just Facebook advert. Maybe I'll just try to teach you guys on how to set up a Facebook advert. But that would be next class please just remind me immediately we start next class just remind me facebook advert so we just set it up and that will be because hmm. okay, let me just say this digital marketing eh? digital marketing is not something that somebody can teach you everything all right so it's something that by yourself you'll be discovering all right so all these ones i'm just saying i'm just saying it so that you have idea. So you see that we go the even when we start the practical, if you don't still go and practice it, implement it, and try it on your own, you still not gain, you still not learn, you still not know know how to do it. All right. So we just what all the things I've been telling you here, just implement it. All right. So and okay, let, let me just ask. So if you, let's say I'll be doing one of the practical for you, which one would you like me to go for? Is it the social media marketing or email marketing or which one? Perhaps. Like, let, let's, like assume let, let's assume I want to. <laughs> which one would you like me to Maybe the one that is mostly used. You know, we don't really know the one that is mostly used. The one that is, the one that is mostly used, used yes. is Facebook yes. adverts. Facebook advice is the one that is mostly used. Ah, uh, if you know how to want Facebook advice, it's hot kick. <laughs> like me now, you know, I told you guys that I don't really 
help people to run advice like that. Only when you come to me that, oh, Johnson, what's up? Can you let me set up a Facebook campaign for these products? So I will just, okay. I will be charging you. Okay, I will ask some questions. What is your budget and all those kind of things? So then I will tell you, okay, this, how much I want to collect? How many days do you want to want the advert? And all thing. I'll tell you how much I want to collect. So if you know how to run Facebook advice, hot cake. So let's say, uh, okay, so I will consider teaching you guys Facebook advert. All right. So, but before then, I'm going to drop a slide to the group, to that group, maybe later after this class. That slide is just a, like a brief on how to set up Facebook ad, like the rating one. So I'll just put it there so that you guys will have idea of it. So by the time we, we decided to set it up next week, so that you know, it will not be strange to, to you guys. Hope that is okay. Yeah, very okay. All right. So any other thing we'll have? Um, another thing is that uh, the the record the recordings they don't used to drop it on time. Even the previous class we had, I couldn't finish the class because my phone was down. So we don't have the record yet. So I was I was just at the middle of the class before my phone went off. So oh. we don't have the record, oh. and we've been asking for the record since. Okay, so let me just okay, so let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. you know that. Most of this recording, after the class, they will still pass through some process. They still pass through review. They will still pass through editing. You understand? So it's not an easy stop. I know it's not a digital marketing class. We do have. We have web development. We have uh, others. You understand? So to compile everything together, to do the editing, to do the correction, and all those things. So it takes time. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's taking time. But... I assure you that every single class that we had, there will be a recording for everything. So I think the first one we had, the recording is already available. And I believe that they are working on the second one also, the one we had last week, they are working on it. So once it's out, you are going to sit on the group. All right. So so that you can go check it out. Go check it out. All right. So and I a lot of people do come to me also that, okay, like they will be asking some questions, although I do answer them. But the thing is, okay, the thing is, I myself, uh, I'm a busy person, <laughs> so I have a lot of things to cover up. Uh, um, every blessed day, all right. So, and this, this question that you do ask me, most of the questions are 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 premium questions that I am ought to get paid for it, all right, and. With this, like this class now, like this particular class, I don't think there is a mentorship there. I want you people, like most of the people that do come to my gym, what they are coming for is mentorship. Like I should mentor them on, on, like most of the things I do. But the best thing is for now is for you to be to listen attentively to the class. Then after the class, you go to the record. So because you can send me a message. And I might not reply on time. It's not deliberately. So I have other things. I so most of the time I will not give a lot, I will not give attention. But I think by the end of this, uh, like maybe by next week, they are going to introduce the uh premium mentorship. And with that, should you have my full attention if you subscribe for it. So you have my full attention to ask real time questions and all those things. And like that, like that. I hope you understand. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. so what business are you into? What business are you what into? Business are you into? Uh, I'm not into any business per se. Actually, I'm an undergraduate. So you know, we are on a strike presently. Oh. So, okay. So, you don't have, okay, so you don't have any digital skills? I don't have any digital skills. I don't have any digital skills. I'm only learning on um, programming Python. Oh. So, oh. so, when I saw this link, I have to check in for it. Oh. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's so, great. What, so are you, what are you? What are you? What are you intending, you intending to do with your with your, with your uh, programming uh, programming skill? Uh, actually, after when, once I'm through with the uh, training of the Python, 
So a friend of mine that introduced me to this platform said uh, there are some online, uh, uh, like online freelancing. Freelancing. Yeah, freelancing. Let me say like that. Like uh, the there are several ones. Yeah. So he told sure, me that. I understand, uh, I understand. I understand. He tried to connect to me. So that was that is what he actually said. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's this good. thing, so thing that market is also a, it will help you to, will help you to go ahead of others. Because one because thing I do one tell people is that no matter, no matter how, how you can, can meet yourself, can meet yourself, can meet yourself first. Can. Okay, so what I do tell people is that no matter how skillful you are, no matter how skillful you are, right? If you don't know how to sell your skill, <laughs> The person pocket go empty. So, with the, the way you are learning skills, learn how to sell those skills. I had a lot of things on my head. I have a lot of skills, but I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to market. So, I was broke because I don't know how to market. But when I learned marketing skills and sales skills, just like what you are learning here, like I, I now realize that all those skills I had, I, I can monetize them and make a lot of money from them. All right. So, I really thank you for that. So I really appreciate. So that Python skill is very, um, the programming skill is very great. Like, um, I'm also wishing to learn programming, but a lot of things in my hand now. So uh, that's great. So Anu, what are this? What business are you into? Ah, Anu, Anu, Anu is not here yet. Anu, what business are you into? I know it's not here. I'm here. I'm not really into any business for now. Oh. Yeah. And what skill are you like? Do you have any digital skills? I learned if I learned, I learned fashion designing as an as a tailor. I learned fashion designing. Using it, and then I also did copywriting. So are you, I are did you, a like, copywriting. Hello? Are you sure you don't have business? No. You have business, you have business already now. Let me, so, all right. Mm. <laughs> you, have, you have business. At least you can use your copywriting skills to sell your fashion designing skills. You know that, right? Yes, you I know that. In fashion designing? Do you so? Or you just... Yes, I so, material? yes. So you already have. I make clothes too. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have, Those are material. I make clothes. Okay. okay. So you already have a business. Copywriting, like copywriting, is part of marketing. But the time we have is too short for us to go into that. But content marketing, the next class, which is content marketing, because copywriting is part of content marketing. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about copywriting too. So next class. All right. So, because once you have, you know, I, I mentioned something like, no matter how skillful you have, you don't, if you don't know how to sell your skill, your hunger will kill the person. Hmm? So now, I, I mentioned sales and marketing skills. Sales and marketing skills, number one is this um, digital marketing you are learning, and part of it is the content marketing, which led to copywriting. So if you have these skills, I, I can bet you with you, you'll make money because you'll be able to sell anything at any time. Even if you don't have a product, you can do affiliate marketing. So sales and marketing skills, <laughs> like once you have a sales and marketing skills, you are good to go because you'll be able to monetize any of the other skills you are. All right, that's just it. So I think we are good to go for today. Like, I'm going to go. So, do you, did anybody have something else to say? Okay, well, I've left. Anu, do you have anything else to say? I will just call it today. Mm, no, I don't really have anything to say. I am really grateful for the class. I really learned a lot. Thank you very much. You are welcome. So, next week, we are going to be going into content marketing. I hope we start early next week, just like the way we started early today. So, 
if you have more time, I will go to the content market. Then I will I will make sure I teach Facebook adverts because it's hot kick. I will teach Facebook adverts. Practical, real practical next week. All right. So you just get prepared. If you have a system, if you have a laptop, so just make sure you get it set up by next week because if you want to set up a Facebook advert, it's best you use laptop. All right. So thank you for the class. So we can call it a day now. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. And again, so, and so you can just write something in the group, one or two things that you learned in the class. So just to motivate others that that are running away from the class. I hope you understand. Okay, yes, I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.